Hi guys, Maglin Min here, and I wanted to share with you the tinder boxes I've been making. These are the prototypes. There's everything spread out. Here's a finished kit. Okay, so pretty simple. But inside of it is a whole bunch of stuff. We have a uh, steel for striking the ferro rod. We have a chunk of ferro rod, right? Um, a piece of Doan magnesium. This is the good stuff. We we bought the China stuff to begin with, and that was trash. Um, a couple pieces of punk wood, fat wood, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty sticky stuff. Um, it's it's pine wood that's been split and then boiled in pine sap. So I suppose it'd be easier just to dig up a pine tree root ball, but whatever. Some jute twine, some jute rope, right? A uh, little sleeve of matches, a piece of flint. This is a lot bigger than the pieces I want to put in the final kits, but that's what I had laying around. And then we got a just random piece of paper to separate all that from the char cloth, which is this stuff down here. Now, so that's a full kit. Um, just take an old cotton t-shirt and cook it. You make pieces, right? And you uh, you cook them in an Altoids tin. And uh, actually, I have this is my Altoids tin for making the fat wood. It's just you know that's the that's what's left over from the bake. And then some pieces here that are slowly getting not sticky. And then over here is my. Uh, my Oikoids tin for making the char cloth. As you can see, I've been experimenting with various bits. So, how's it work? You take the char cloth, right? And you come over here. And we're gonna set this camera up so you can see just how this works. Now, I'm going to do it a little bit odder because, frankly, um, I don't have a lot of room. But uh, there's a piece of ferro rod on the side of that magnesium, and there's a piece of uh, chert right there. And what we're going to do just got to get started. All right? Little, little embers. Take it over, and fold it over. Right. So once you got this, okay, you uh, breathe into it. There we have hints of fire. Needless to say, that's plenty hot enough to um, to get uh, all this tinder to light. And then you just take this punk wood and you hold it in the heat and uh, the sap will light on fire, which then lights the wood like a match. Um, the kit's, you know, a combination of old school tinder box and modern bits. Um, but it works like a champ, an absolute champ. So uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap up the prototyping phase of making these, and actually go ahead and start making uh, start making the kits themselves.